Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like at a clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom free NHL picks frolic from BPOW Picks. That's right. BPOW Picks. My bro, B, he knocks down the. I got to check how we did on baseball. I was so. I did a live today. Um, I'm Perlo, by the way. Perlo Wisdom. I, I, I don't know how you don't know that if you don't know that. Everybody in the land. Is my collar all messed up? No, I'm good. I'm good. I did a live feed today, a stream, as I like to call it, for Off the Wall Hockey John the Goat. Perlo dance for the goat. We're going to get him doing that sometime. For sure. We're going to get him Perlo dancing all the heck. And uh, it was the uh, Toronto Montreal game, which we had. Montreal PL and the over, and it was under, but we did get Montreal PL. But uh, it was fantastic. And next weekend, we're going to be doing our next weekend. Next Monday, when the trade deadline frolic begins, we're going to be doing a whole day of it. I'm trying to figure out here. Uh, also, during the day, I from 3 to 5, I do a picks live picks thing where you come and uh, we talk all everything to do with hockey we'll talk about the trades that happened today with the Islanders in New Jersey and all that kind of stuff like that and uh, we talk about everything hockey and we do picks and people get points and if you get the points then you win and at the end of the month you can choose something for me to do for a month that I have to do for a month unless I win and then I don't have to do that. So go check it out. It's lots and lots of fun. The frolic is endless. Okay, we got a lot of picks to get to today. So we're going to go. Uh, I got the quick picks here. Don't worry. I know you're all in a tither. So where's the quick picks? Where's the quick picks? They're right here. I got them right here. See? That's them. That's the fancy thing that I use. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to give you some quick picks. We're going to talk about the uh, games tonight, which, okay, and then we're going to do our picks for tomorrow. So i got a full chef. I'm going to send that out to you. Oh, thank you for subscribing. I went up 20 subscribers yesterday. Woo! Thing is, poor Helen has to stitch together all the pearls of wisdom necklaces. 20 of them. It's like there's like knits, it's knitting and stitching stuff flying everywhere. All it's crazy. It's I don't even go in there. I don't even bother going in there. It's so nuts. But uh, okay, here we go. Hit the subscribe and you can get one of those fine things. And we can try to. We're on a road to 800, as they like to say. And once we hit 800, we're going for a thousand. But let's do little bits at a time. 800. Smack that subscribe, help me out. Help us all out. We're gonna grow to the, be the finest in the land. We already are, but we're gonna grow. It's gonna be huge, awesome. Okay, let's go. Devils, money line, under five and a half. Do you, oh, you weren't ready? Sorry, get your pro tractors out and your uh, compasses and all of that. Ready? Got your duotangs out? Okay, and your crayons. Panthers, puck line, over five and a half. Islanders, money line over Philadelphia, under five and a half. Penguins, ML, over six. Capitals, ML, over five and a half. Blue Jackets, puck line, under five and a half. Now, this is that one there. If the lightning go and blow that one out of the water now, I'm going to lose my mind. I, I haven't. A lightning has screwed me up this year. Jets in reg over. Oh, the, they don't have the total there yet. So that's why it's just over. So I, I think it's hopefully it's five and a half, but it might be six. Uh, I'm probably still going over, over on either one. Oilers. Money line over five and a half. Also, they don't have that either. There's no uh, 
There's no odds for that game. Um, I believe it'll be five and a half, but it could be six as well. It's hard to say. Uh, Predators money line under five and a half with Detroit. That one always seems to go under for the, that. And Hawks money line under five and a half. And we're going to get into why I did all those things. There you go. You got them? You got it all written down and you can bring it to your bookie or whatever, Guido there. Actually, Guido is the one that go get your letters, but you may have a Guido too. You never know. Um, so you can head off now. Thank you for coming in and enjoying the fine programming. Uh, you organize your time though, because what I'm about to do is just as it's, it's, there's so much information, it will blow your mind. I don't know, but it's, it's pretty fun. People like it. I hope, or I wouldn't do it. Okay. We're going to go to what our picks were from tonight, which is the seventh tonight. Yes. The seventh. And then we're going to do our picks for the eighth. Because that's what we do here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries. So Jacket, Sasha, Joey Mercer, Joey Serrano. I know you're out there. Get your all stuff ready. Get all comfortable. I want your full attention there, young Jacket. I know you like to head off. Hockey News Reports. Set yourself down. Let's go. Okay, ah, uh, scores, here we go. It's a mixed bag. This was really tough. I, I This was a tough card to me. Uh, tell me in the comment section if it was a tough card for you. Some of the picks you had, how well you did, did you hit parlays, all that stuff like that. Um, we have Coyotes versus the Kings. I want the over on this. I need two more goals. Come on, guys. Come on. I, I had under until I found out quick. Oh, there goes one right there. Kings just scored. I got to switch that. It's on right now. Uh, that should go over. Uh, we also need the Coyotes. If that, uh, if that does well, then we're going to be up for today probably. Uh, Oilers versus the Senators. I got a push here. I had the under. Uh, empty netters have been killing me this week. This was 3-2. Uh Dreisaitl got his hat trick. I'm an Oilers fan, by the way. Dreisaitl got his hat trick with like 0 .0002 seconds into an empty net. Otherwise, we would have had the under and Senators PL here. How quickly things change there, right? So as it was, we got uh, a push and we lost, I think, what do we have? A unit on that? A unit or something like that on that. Um Maple Leafs Canadians, uh, we had the Canadians PL, but we also had the over, I believe. Yes, when I found out that, why did, I, why did I go the over on this game? No, I went the under on this game. Never mind, we had the under, we had the PL, sorry. I had the under for medium pearls and the PL for Canadians at half, half, for like a small amount? No, something. I really gotta look at this. What did we have? We had, this is my Patreon, by the way. I do a full report on every game, every day, pretty much, if I have time. Most of the time I have time. Um, Canadians, puck line for medium. Okay, and under, six pays for one so yeah okay we're up to you uh, just under two units on that play doing pretty good this one kind of this one did not do good we had uh golden knights for uh medium and under for one so we we were up about now we're about even uh this we had the over here and we had which was great but we also had the avalanche, which was not great. We're, so we're like a quarter of a unit under. That's it. So we're basically breaking even. I don't mind that on that card. I, I found that card really tough to cap. Because there was a lot of crazy things in here. 
the Maple Leafs were coming off their first game after a long road trip. Uh, for any team, that is tough. I, I kind of like the Maple Leafs still to win that game, but I thought the safe bet was the Canadiens' puck line, and we got it. Um, Oilers, when the Oilers put Corpusalo in, uh, I felt like that should be over all day, and it, you know, it didn't work out. But um, I, the Senators at home against an Oilers team that had Corpus Allo in, I thought that they could possibly even take that game. Um, tough to cap. Uh, Golden Knights, I was afraid of the Blues on this one. I wasn't all over the Golden Knights on this at all. In fact, I only think I put one unit on it, and I should have stuck with it. Um, but whatever. And I did like the Wild on this game. I didn't bet large with the Avalanche because of it, but we didn't get it. Choose what you choose. Um, Avalanche are creaming everybody. But the Wild are so always their surprise in this year. Okay, games t for tomorrow. I'm going to try to refresh this, see if any odds come up. Nope, still nothing for the Winnipeg-Montreal game. Okay, so New Jersey versus Buffalo. New Jersey made the huge trade. Palmieri's gone. Zajac is gone. And you say, well, I thought I heard you say take New Jersey. I did. I think this takes the pressure off of New Jersey. And um, uh, Buffalo's lineup without well, won't have Hall either. Last game, Wedgwood was in that. And uh, obviously the teams are doing their homework because Wedgwood has a few holes. And once you find him, he doesn't look good in the NHL. Blackwood, on the other hand, is, is a fantastic goaltender. So is Allmark. That's why I like the under here. A lot of offense is not in the lineup for New Jersey and for Buffalo. Now, both of them have poor defense, though. However, I think the goaltenders will make up for it. You'll see. Uh, oh, look at that. Uh, we got our over now for the Kings game, but we need Arizona to score. <laughs> Otherwise, we're down a little bit. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, so I'm taking New Jersey. Uh, I just believe that they, they've got more speed. Uh, if, uh, they have a better, they have a little better mobile, uh, defense and I like Blackwood better with the lineup that New Jersey is going to put out there. Florida versus Carolina. I'm taking Florida puck line. This could go either way. So you're only getting a buck 50 on that. And, uh, I do think that Carolina, there's a good chance Carolina wins this game, but I think there's a great chance it's only a one-goal game. Bobrovsky's been playing a lot better. If you go back to Morazic again in Carolina, he can be inconsistent. I, I really kind of like Bobrovsky right now better than I do Morazic. So um, I'm going to go Florida puck line. Uh, probably not for much, but I do like the over here um, for the for all the reasons I suggested. Carolina's got plenty of firepower. Uh, Florida has uh, ha, they have a lot of speed. Carolina tries to keep sort of a trap game going, but um, usually if uh, the team scores early, they open up a little bit, and I could see this going over. So I like it over six. Um, Philadelphia versus the New York Islanders. I got to go the Islanders here. Um, I think, what else was there about Philadelphia? Uh, first of all, I, they sh the two of the players that they picked up, I don't have to go through COVID. So they're going to have Palmieri in the lineup and Zajac, I think. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure. And I think there was something with Philly, an uh, uh, injury no, it wasn't an injury. What was it? There was something with Philly that... Uh, but anyways, I, I like the Islanders at home here. Um, a Carter Hart should be in net. I just like the Islanders all day. I can't remember what it was, but there was something with Philly that uh, also made me go away from Philadelphia, except for the fact that they're just simply struggling. I can't see them winning this game. Um... Pittsburgh versus the Rangers. The Rangers just trounced the Penguins last game. I 
would hope they're going with DeSmith here after Jari got lit up last game. Um, I'm on the fence about this. I don't think it's going to be as much of a uh, – like it just so – everything went in, in for the Rangers last game. Um, Pittsburgh will probably come back with a different game plan. Uh, DeSmith will likely be in – will be in net, and he plays better. Um, the thing is with the Rangers with Shesterkin, that's the my main concern here. He can win a game by himself. I just can't see Pittsburgh allowing the Rangers to win two in a row here. I'm kind, I'm leaning Pittsburgh, but I don't really like this game because I could see the Rangers winning it. Um, yeah, I am leaning Pittsburgh, though, so I'll go that way. Where did I have that? I did put Pittsburgh, right? Penguins ML and over six. They just These guys are over all the time. Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh and the Rangers are almost an automatic over. Tampa Bay, Columbus, i so fed up with Tampa Bay. I'm going to take Columbus PL. I'm not going to put much on it. Uh, one of these, well, they got to start turning it around sometime here. Um, but Columbus just seems to have their number all the time, all the time. They, it's in their heads or something. Um, plus, Merzlikens should be in net. They beat him with Corpusalo. Merzlikens the better goaltender for Columbus. So... I can't see Vasilevsky letting in as much as he did last time. I like the under. I'll take Columbus PL. And uh, I like the under more. I'll be betting more on the under on that game. Montreal versus Winnipeg. Montreal just played Toronto last night. Uh, this night, tonight. Uh, it'll be a back-to-back. -back. I'm taking Winnipeg all day here. Um, without Gallagher in net, Gal Gallagher playing. He's going to be injured for a long time, apparently. Like, that hurts Montreal a lot. Um, Hollabuck is amazing. I think it's going to be Caden Primo, the kid in there. And that's okay. So a lot of times when these young players come in, they, like they did with, you saw with Swayman with Boston, they just kind of go unconscious. And they stop everything. Um, however, Primo has played a couple times before. So there's no pressure on the kid. I still think Winnipeg wins this. The question is the over-under here. I think under, but I'm not huge. What did I say? Over. I said over. Because I, I think the Jets could trounce Montreal here. They Montreal did not, should have taken Toronto tonight because Toronto was on a... Uh, uh, after a long Western road trip, mind you, going past, going through uh, time zones and everything, and then playing Montreal. Montreal should have had a better outing against them, so I can't see them having much better outing against Winnipeg, who's a very hard-working team. They could light them up pretty good here. So, yeah, I'm going to go the over. Edmonton versus Ottawa. Ottawa had uh, Hogberg in net. Last night should be Forsberg, who has been playing all right, but Edmonton will have Smith. I like Smith better than Car Carpasalo. I think Edmonton wins this game. Probably go under, though, on a back-to-back. -back. It'll probably be six, so I'm probably going under. Oh, I have over. Why do I have over? Oops. Sorry for the people that were picking before this. It's probably under. Sorry. Uh, we don't know. That's assuming that it's six. Nashville versus Detroit. I'm going under for sure. These They're almost always under these two teams. Nashville still has a lot of talent off injured, but they have a lot of heart right now. They're playing with a lot of heart. They have a lot of reason to be winning. Um, so I'm going to take Nashville on the money line, um, but and under five and a half. Uh, Detroit will put up a good effort. I, I would consider Detroit PL. Um, but I think Nashville has now played Grice twice, should figure out him a, figure him out a little better. And I like Saros better for Nashville. It's really the reasons why I'm doing that. Uh, Dallas versus Chicago. I, I said it last time and I'll say it again. Dallas is too injured. Why Chicago is still getting, uh, dog money on here. I don't know, but I'm taking Chicago ML over Dallas all day right now. Lankinen's playing really well. And I'm going to stick to unders on this game, these, this series. Um, 
especially if Audi's in that, Audinger, which I, they should keep on going to here. He is a better goaltender right now. Um, I'm going to stick to the under. Well, that's my full 42%, boys and girls. That's all I have to give. I got to go have myself a nap. Well, actually, asleep. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for coming over to Patreon. The pa I didn't even tell you all about that. It's uh, free, totally free. If you go in right now, I'll give you the rest of this, this whole month for free. You can try it out. If you don't like it, off you go. Won't cost you a dime. If you do, stick, most people do, stick around. When we get to 50, we're at 25 now, not far away. When we get to 50, I'm going to do a draw, and you will get a free year of free year subscription of our maximum package. And if you go in now, you will always pay that price, uh, whatever one you go into. So if you take the 25 or the 5 or the 3, you will always have that. It'll always be $5 for you. However, next year, it will be going up. So, But for you, it'll always be that way. That's my full 42%, boys and girls. Thanks for coming in and checking out the fine programming. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.